Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you again, Logic Pro 10, beginner's course. Let's take a look at more track editing and more track power and information that we can actually utilize in Logic Pro 10. And that's called global tracks. These particular tracks that we're going to look at now affect the entire project as a whole. So we want to access those right here. Open that folder up. And then we've got Arrangement, Marker, Signature, and Tempo. Now these are just the default ones that come. I mean, we could begin to look at adding, you know, several other type of global markers, but that's beyond what we're trying to do in the beginner's course. We're just going to stay focused on pretty much the basics. And I just want to touch base on this particular uh, feature. It probably could have its own 30 course tutorial uh, all by itself. It's, it's way beyond the scope of just learning at Logic Pro 10 as a beginner. So let's look at, um, you know, let's say marker. When I, when I come over here and click the plus button on marker, you see right away it populates a marker for me. Now I can actually double click that and say let's call it intro. So that first marker will become my intro. And let me scan down a little bit here. And if I click again, let me, it starts where my playhead is. So let me move my playhead to say bar nine, click intro or click the uh, plus button again for marker. And now I've got a second marker that can be, uh, let's say verse. And again, we'll move the playhead say a little bit further down click it again and double click the name say chorus so you kind of get the idea of the marker it's just allowing me to go in and kind of mark where I want certain changes in the arrangement to happen and give myself a personal guide so let's say we look at arrangement and, and let's take a look at how they're different now if we click on arrangement it's going to automatically put an 8 bar intro in there for us and if we continue to click it's going to say intro verse intro verse intro verse so this can actually be changed right here if you hover over it get my mouse organized here it's a little sensitive we can change that to a chorus if we like change this to a bridge and so on and so forth now what's cool about this and working with the arrangement is it's actually the arrangement is actually populating the intro verse bridge chorus and things of that nature according to the drummer track down here below so essentially organize my screen there essentially it's following whatever i have for a drummer track and it's going to it's going to it's it's communicating with the drummer track on what style and what uh how to play each eight bar section so we've got intro, verse, chorus. So if I go down here in the open area on the drummer track, right click or control click and say populate with drum regions, the population is going to correspond with the arrangement track. So the arrangement is a way to tell the drummer how you want him to play because each one of these sections is a different style of play. And I'll just hover over kind of like, let's start from right here. You can kind of hear the changes there as we go from one section to the other as far as what's happening to the how the drummer is following what we've told him to do up here and again we can hover over each one of these sections and choose a different you could put an outro there which I wouldn't do but once you put an outro
So that is a quick overview of kind of the global track functions. There's a you know a lot more going on there if you, you want to take closer looks at it. But just to give you an idea uh, and a quick kind of insight to global track arrangement and how to tell an easy way how to tell the drummer to change patterns. Let's move on and take a little bit closer look at some more features within the global tracks.